Hello, and welcome to another episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. Um, as always, I kind of grab a couple Japanese snacks that came in a uh, recent snack rate and kind of go through them and try them out. And first up, as you can see, we have from Lot or Lotte, a uh, Pokemon Cola gum thing. Now, I think also these come with stickers or something. Now, I've had a look at that. I think that says Konki no Pokemon Get. Or Konki no Pokemon Geto. Um, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure what it is. No, these are cola gum kind of things. I think actually at the back. No, it doesn't say. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're small cubes of cola things and maybe some stickers. So I'm going to unwrap this and see how it goes. Um, I hope I haven't ripped. Oh, oh okay. Ah, interesting. Right, okay, so they're not stickers. Wait. Oh, well, hmm. Okay, interesting. So, you get your little bar of uh, thing, but also you get a bit of an info card, maybe? Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's like a Pokedex entry for Snorlax, basically. Um, very interesting, yeah. So you got a little picture and stuff. It is just paper. Unfortunately, not a sticker. I was kind of hoping for a sticker, but hey. Uh, there are other ones as well, so they're different colours. Let's see, who do we get? Gengar. Uh, I'm not going to open them all up because I'm not going to eat five sticks of gum at once. We've got Pikachu, of course. Uh, hang on. Ugh. Right, we've got... Uh, oh, Lucario. Very nice. And who is at the bottom there? That is Charizard. Very uh, fan favourite there, then, I think. Of all of them, actually, probably Snorlax is the least fan favourite, and he's still quite popular. Anyway, let's take a look at this, then. So it's a, uh, a stick of gum, obviously. Ooh, it's slightly melty, I think, maybe. It's slightly stuck to the paper there, but not to worry. So, yeah, um, regular kind of bit of gum. Right, I'm going to go try some. That's actually very nice. Um, it tastes a lot like cola gum I've had before, really. It's like... I think Japanese cola has a very specific taste to it. Um, I will say, though, it does taste a lot like Coke or something, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's quite strong as well. It hasn't lost flavour yet, which is something. I've been chewing for about a minute now. Um, I'll let you guys know at the bottom of the screen here if it lasted a while. Japanese gum tends to kind of burn bright in terms of taste and then fizzle out very quickly. So I'm not holding on much hope, but to be honest, this is a larger bit of gum, and there's five of them um, than I'm used to getting, because usually they come in very small cubes and stuff. Actually, let me just check the packaging. Okay, I've made a discovery, actually. Um, so checking here, it does appear there are, like, a collection of these things. There's not just, like, the set five, because I'm not seeing my Snorlax on there. Um, and also there's a Grookey there where I haven't seen. Um... Another update, so I just swallowed this. Um, not fully intentionally, but I don't think this is actually gum. I think it's meant to taste a bit like gum, but I think it's actually just a gummy snack kind of thing. Because yeah, that dissolved in my mouth, basically. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So this isn't gum, but it's kind of meant to look like it, presumably. Oh, I've just swallowed gum. Um, either one, really. It's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty cool. I'll, I'll keep a hold of these. What am I going to do with them? I don't know. I am learning to read um, Kana, and that is all in Kana, so, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get round to actually reading these. Um, and yeah, they're pretty cool. Right, on to the next snack. All right, it is time for some Meiji Black Chocolate. Um, this is a tiny little thing. Um, it's nice that they added it, but... Also, it's probably like the size of half my finger or something. So yeah, it's presumably black chocolate by Meiji, which I'm I'm, I'm up for. I uh, I like me some dark chocolate. Honestly, actually, I've not had much Japanese dark chocolate. Uh, ooh, there we are. That looks very black chocolatey, really. Right, I'm gonna give this a taste. Hmm. Yeah, that was some. Um, Quite nice dark chocolate, really. Um, not the best I've had, but not the worst I've had either. Um, yeah, it's got that kind of rich cocoa flavour and stuff. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It, it's decent. I mean, if there was a larger bar, maybe I'd get more of a taste and I'd kind of 
have more of an opinion on it. But yeah, as it stands, that was decent. Right, on to the next one. You ready for a kiss? A melty kiss. I feel weird about saying that, sorry. Um, so, yeah, we are on to the uh, fruity strawberry melty kiss. Now, I believe you open it... Here you go, yes. Um, so, yeah, I believe melty kiss are kind of like... A bit of like chocolate truffles, I believe. Um, but I think they've got, they've got something about them where like they don't melt, if that makes sense. So, like... They don't melt in your hand um, and stuff. Okay, cool. I'm glad they're individually packed. Um, the only time I've had Melty Kiss before was like in a big tree. And that was annoying because I had to eat them all within like a day or two or they started going hard, basically. Very nice presentation as well. I don't know what that says. I cannot be asked to read it. But yeah, so we've got individual packaging. And inside... We have a cube of chocolate. Okay, I mean, no, me, yeah, mm, okay, yeah. They've got like weird dust over them or something, if that makes sense. And I think that's the kind of thing that doesn't melt. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to hold this in my hand too long, so I'm going to go take a bite. Hmm, all right then. Well, um, if you guys remember to uh, remember my last uh, snack review, I reviewed um, Apollo, uh, Apollo chocolate, I think it is, by Meiji which are kind of like cones, um, there's regular chocolate at the bottom and like pink chocolate on the top, which is strawberry. Um, yeah, this, this tastes exactly like that, basically, but they're bigger and it's a little bit nicer. This tastes a little bit more real strawberry, if that makes sense. Um, it is still very much kind of fake, fake strawberry, I think. It's chocolate blended with maybe strawberry extract or something. Um, it, it does have a bit of the artificial flavour, but the chocolate itself is quite nice, actually. It's got quite a nice, uh, like, thickness to it. Yeah, actually, you know what? After eating the second half of that, um, no, I, I take it back, actually. It doesn't taste as fake strawberry at all. Um, you get the, like, very slight bitterness of real strawberry flavour. Yeah, no, that that's pretty darn good, actually. That's one of the best strawberry chocolate things I've had in quite a while. Um, and there's there's loads in here. Like, this will last me probably a week, I think. I'll have, like, two or three a day, maybe. Um, yeah, because, man, that, that's quite deep as well. That's, like, that's a decent, uh, that's a decent box. It's quite light, which is quite deceptive. But, yeah, no, that... Melty Kiss, yet again, prove they are a fantastic uh, little bit of chocolate. And they are by Meiji, actually. There we are. That makes sense. Right, on to the next snack. All right, it is time to crack open a cold one with my viewers. Uh, so, we have the Sangria Grape Soda can. Uh, grape Soda. Indeed, yes, sorry, that is Grape Soda. Um... Yeah, so I am going to crack the lid. Whoa, listen to that. And I have a glass next to me, which is useful. So I'm going to pour a little bit in. Uh, not going to fill it up. But there we are. We have a nice... Uh, ooh, listen to that. Right, so this is fresh out the fridge. This is incredibly cold. So I'm going to take a sip of this. Sweet, sweet grape soda. Mmm. Right. That is fantastic. That's, um... Like, the... So, as with a lot of other fruits, actually, the Japanese, um, fake flavours, basically, because obviously this isn't grape soda, this is sugars and stuff made to taste like grape. Um, I'm probably with a bit of grape in it, but... I don't know, Japanese grape is, like, one of my favourite flavours of things. It's got, like... I don't know, it's... It's sweet, but it's not um, its not overly sugary. It does actually taste quite natural, in a sense. So maybe this is actually natural grape and stuff. But that is delicious. Yeah, that tastes a lot like a lot of like grape sweets you'll get. Like Japanese grape sweets, but obviously in liquid form. And honestly, this is quite a hefty can. This is like probably the full glass worth. Um, so yeah, that's, that's fantastic. I'm going to sit back and chill with this grape soda because that is yeah that's very nice i'd definitely buy a can of this uh if i saw it in an asian supermarket anyway on to the next snack all right who's ready for some bubble tea um so this is the pucho uh bubble tea 
chewy kind of thing. Basically, it's kind of high chew, but it's by a different company. Uh, as we can see here, yeah, Pucho Chewy Candy Bubble Tea Flavour, or Boba Tea, depends how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, it's just like a milk drink with tapioca balls. So I'm presuming these are just going to be kind of chewy sweets that taste of tapioca. Oh, wow, yeah, very high chew, because this is like literally a copy of... Um, what you'd get in high chew basically but obviously there's something else written on it uh, unfortunately whilst i can read can and stuff the more the more that's on display the harder it is to read so i can't fully tell what that says because it's so shiny but hopefully you guys can see it and hopefully it's the right way up or if not i'll put it that way anyway let's oh that's interesting cool okay so you've got the outside and then the inside looks to have like tapioca bowls in them very interesting, right. I'm just gonna eat this whole thing instead of taking a bite, so be happy. All right, so I'm back. Um, so I've noticed as well, we have a happy little tapioca pirate there and two elderly tapioca people with perms, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, that was quite an interesting one. So I will level with everyone. I've only ever had bubble tea once. Um, and that's because I'm lactose intolerant. And around the time I first tried bubble tea is when I discovered I was lactose intolerant. So I kind of, stopped you know drinking milk tea i will say from what i remember it's very tasty and um i think this is quite accurate in terms of the taste um i'm getting more tapioca than anything else um but that, that's not really a bad thing it does taste a bit milky in terms of kind of you know milk sweets and stuff the texture and stuff is a bit different to high chew as well um I would say Haichu is a little bit higher quality than this. This isn't bad though, I think um, it's just that it's got a different kind of thing going on, so maybe it's going to feel a bit different, I don't fully know. But overall though, I, I would say this is pretty darn good sweet. Um, as I said, I'm not wild on bubble tea, it's not like one of my favourites, so I wouldn't go out and buy one of these myself. But it's here, and I'm, I'm happy I've tried some, really. I'll definitely uh, be sharing this with friends or whatever, see what they think about it as well. But yeah, that's, that's pretty decent. Well done, uh, well done, Pucho. Right, on to the next snack. All right, it's time for some cool gummy gummy sweets. Um, yeah, so this is a Rilakkuma-themed thing. I think that's Rilakkuma himself. And yeah, they're small gummy things, and they come in full variety of flavours, and I believe... Looking at the back there, it is apple, grape, pear, and mel lemon, maybe? Um, interesting. I don't think I've had any uh, cool gummy, gummy things. I've had Rilakkuma things, but I can't remember what Rilakkuma things I had. So I'm going to try and taste one of each flavour. So this is probably orange. Hey, there we are, and as you can see, it's a small bear face. Right, cool, I'm going to give it a try. That was, um, yeah, it was kind of mild in flavour, to be honest. Um, I mean, they are very small. I guess the point is to eat a lot of them at once. But I've uh, grabbed a green one. So I think, because uh, technically two of these things are green, I think green is grape, but maybe white is pear, because the inside of a pear is white. I don't know. Anyway, I'll give it a taste and see if I can tell what it is. Hmm, yet again, they're not really strong flavours. I want to say there was grape, but I could be wrong. Anyway, we've got red now, which I believe should be apple. So let's give this a go. All right, so um, as you can see here, actually, um, I can't find any of the white ones at all. This is like half the bag or whatever, and I've had a look in there. I genuinely cannot find the elusive, like, um, white-coloured one. I don't know, I, like, th th there's nothing here that looks light enough. Honestly, most of them are orange or red, so it is very weird. Um, so yeah, so I, I guess there's only three flavours, maybe? Or if I do come across the fourth one, I'll let you guys know, but it's looking doubtful. Anyway, yeah, overall, these are fine. You know, they're, they're decent. Um... I'm sure if you have like a handful of them, it's probably a bit better. Like they're they're quite nice and like thick and stuff, but the flavours nah, it's not really there. But you know, not bad though. Anyway, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for waffle kun or wafurukun. Um yeah, this seems to be a very small waffle biscuit 
thing. I think maybe it's chocolate, maybe it's a regular waffle. Um, yeah, and the reason I saved this was because there actually got a date on my birthday. Uh, somewhere on the packaging. So, let's crack this open. Um, and let's see what is in... Ah, okay, cool. So it is literally what's on the packaging there. It's a bit of chocolate dipped. And the rest of it is... Okay, so there's chocolate on the bottom as well. Yeah, it seems like a waffle biscuit kind of thing. Uh, right, cool. Let's take a bite. That was a little bit bland, not gonna lie. Um, the chocolate doesn't bring much, and the biscuit doesn't even seem to be sweetened, which is weird. Um, yeah, I'll take one more bite. Yeah, that's yeah, that that's very bland actually. Um, <laughs> not a fan of that. Definitely, definitely wouldn't buy one of those. Um, I I I like the like potential it has, but I don't know the chocolate and the biscuit are both kind of really plain. I don't know. It's a little bit disappointing. But oh well. Anyway, on to the next snack. You're ready for some wasabi beef? Um, yeah. So we have the wasabi beef potato chips. Um, which is from Yamayoshi. Um, so I, I checked their social media actually because there's someone on the back there and it seems they, they do a variety of stuff. There's like ice cream or something as well, which is interesting. Uh, anyway, so this is apparently wasabi flavour potato chips. So I'm curious to see if there's actually any like beef flavour to it or if they are straight up wasabi. Uh, oh, okay, so they're very nice. Wow, they're quite thick as well. Rustic looking stuff. And you know, you get a decent amount in there. Right, so I'm gonna go give this a bite then. Mmm, yo, that... That's really cool actually. So yeah, um... It's kind of like, it's a combo. It's, you got a beef flavour for sure. It's, it's quite beefy. Uh, and then you got the hit of the wasabi. Um, and the thing I quite like about wasabi actually is it's quite spicy for a couple seconds, and then that's it. Um, yeah, and then it can just finishes on like a beef note, if that makes sense. Like you taste the beef, you taste the wasabi, bit of a kick, and back to beef again. These are really nice, actually. Yeah, pretty, like, honestly, in terms of um, potato chips I found from Japan, you know, with snack boxes and stuff, these are, these are pretty much one of the best, I think, honestly. Um, I am a sucker for like, kind of spicy crisps, and sort of meaty flavour and stuff, so like a combo, oh that's just perfect, yo, like, um, yeah, honestly, wasabi beef, um, you've, you've really impressed me there, I wasn't expecting a great amount, I was expecting a little bit of a kick, and you outdone yourself, um, and yeah, so that, that about wraps it up for this episode, it's taken me a couple weeks to film just because I kind of forgot to film, basically, for the last few weeks. Um, so hopefully I've got enough footage and stuff in here. I do have basically another whole box as again, so look forward to that, because there will be at least one more episode of Japanese Snack Reviews, and then I might subscribe to a different uh, snack box thing. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a playlist for the other like snack reviews, um, and just like a random video at the end. Um, and yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and until next time, goodbye!